Good afternoon, everyone. So, key stage four in GCSE, one of the lessons you learn uh, in uh, the unit on Living World is about the nutrient cycle. And I thought that uh, there isn't a better way to learn about the nutrient cycle than seeing it outside for yourself. And autumn is the perfect time of year to see it. Every time you walk around, you can see all these beautiful golden leaves, which are from the deciduous trees eventually fall onto the floor. And I thought I'd film it here um, in the in the kind of space around the RGS to show you how the nutrient cycle actually works. Um, so this, you remember there's three main components to the nutrient cycle. The first one is here, it's these leaves, all the leaves above me here, that is your biomass. Your biomass is the name we give to nutrients when they are inside a living organism. So the nutrients that are currently in the tree uh, to make that tree grow, all the nutrients which are up here we call the biomass. In autumn, and that's why uh, it gave me the inspiration for the video. All these deciduous leaves, eventually here, there you go, I've literally just picked it, it'll fall to the floor, and when you end up having, uh, what you end up having, sorry, on the floor, is all this litter. This is what we call litter. Um, and the litter is basically all these dead uh, leaves, which on the floor, decompose via the mushrooms of fungi, and release all the nutrients they held back into the soil, which is our third part of the nutrient cycle. And this soil can then be used and store the nutrients for these what you probably see around here you've got some small nettles not great plant but the nettles will be using the nutrients in the soil in order to grow and prosper okay nutrient cycle also varies according to the biome you're in so i'm currently here in the in the uk we have biome which is a, a temperate deciduous uh, biome where you've got a plant plants that shed their leaves and uh, it, it varies it's currently raining a little bit outside it was sunny two days ago it is the temp the climate is very variable um and the, the speed at which this cycle works will is determined by the climatic conditions around you. So in the in the tropical rainforest, this the process happens really really quickly because the litter on the floor decomposes faster when it's hot. And we know or we all know from the um, from our lessons on the tropical rainforest that the temperatures around the, in the rainforest are uh, very um, stable. They stay the same all year round, and it's, it's very hot wet and damp and humid conditions and that is the perfect conditions to speed up the process by which this litter decomposes so in the in the rainforest it will take very little time for this uh, litter to decompose and release the nutrients back into the soil the colder it gets the slower the cycle uh, becomes so in the uk it's obviously a lot slower than the rainforest but if you were to go to northern norway or if you were to go to iceland that process would be even slower than in the uk just because the temperature is so much lower there's less heat and if there's less heat mold in essence, or uh, decomp decomposition happens a lot slower. It's the same process in your kitchen where you have, so let's say, you leave a banana on the counter. The banana on the counter will eventually go mouldy and go and go off a lot quicker out on the counter, even faster if you were to put it in a microwave, but it'll slow down dramatically if you put the banana in the fridge. Okay, and it's the same idea with the litter. Um, and equally, in the rainforest, as well as being humid and being uh, hot, you also have a lot more sunlight. And when you have a lot more sunlight, the biomass grows a lot quicker. And you'll all know that from science. The reason it does that is because with more, uh, with the more sunlight you have, the more photosynthesis you have, the more photosynthesis you have, the quicker the trees can grow. Okay. So in rainforest, what you end up having is having a biomass that grows really quickly because of a lot of sunshine. The leaves then fall down um, very regularly all year round because it's a whole year round growing season. And then once it hits the floor, that litter will decompose into uh, into the soil a lot, lot faster. So that's why in the rainforest, unfortunately, deforestation is a big issue because when you want to make a lot of money in agriculture, opening a farm in the rainforest will allow you to produce a lot more goods a lot quickly and um, and therefore earn a lot more income. I hope all this makes sense. I hope this gives you a bit of an insight on how the nutrient cycle works. I know my year 10s have an assessment on Thursday and on Friday and year 11s also have one on Thursday. So it's good revision, if that makes sense. But yeah, who knew? You could actually, or who knew? I knew, and I know, now you know. Uh, you can actually see geography wherever you go. I'm here in the in, in the uh, in the area around the Astro and RGS, and you can literally see the uh, the nutrient cycle. I hope that helps. Have a lovely evening, and I hope I'll see you all soon. Despite the fact a lot of you are isolating, look forward to teaching you again in the classroom.